hey, with more and more people getting access to the limited test of CS2 and the uh, full release seemingly around the corner, I figured I would start a tutorial series for those more interested in the modding side of the game. Um, so that'll include uh, setting up models, like importing and setting up models in the engine, setting up textures, working with the mapping tools, post-processing, basic map logic, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but today I'm just going to focus on actually how to install the tools and how to basically set up your first uh, project in them. So if you've got access to the limited test or the full version has come out, all you need to do to install the tools is go up to your Counter-Strike installation and right click on it and go down to properties. This will open up this little window. You'll go to DLC. And you'll see Counter-Strike 2 Limited Test, which if you have it, will probably already be installed. And then down here, you'll see the workshop tools, which will be unchecked for you. It's already checked for me because I've already got installed. Simply check that on, close this, and there'll be an update for the game. It'll update. Once that's done, all you should have to do is press play. Go down to the workshop tools option, click it, and click play again. And within a couple seconds, the tools should pop up. Now this is like the launcher for them. So there's two types of tools. There's the item tools, which is for weapon skins, uh, graffiti, stickers, that kind of thing. Whereas the map making tools, which is where I'm going to focus on first, although I do have plans to do some tutorials for the item tools. Um, but they're a little different. So we're going to focus on the map tools, which are the ones down here. Um, this will be blank for you. I've just set up a couple things to do some testing. Um, so what you'll have to do is you'll have to do create new add-on and name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it testing. And then should pop up and select it. Now all you have to do is press launch and it'll launch into the tools. But one thing I'd recommend you do first is go over here and click this cog wheel. And one of the options is Explore Content Folder. Click this and bring this up because you're going to, when you're importing models, materials, and other things, you're going to need access to this folder structure to bring in the raw files from Blender or Substance Painter or whatever. So in this case, you'll see all of the stuff I've created. However, you're just going to open into the one that you just named. So in this case, D-Testing for me. And you'll have your basic stuff already created for you, like some basic maps and stuff. Anywho, press Launch Tools with the uh, add-on you just created selected. And after a couple seconds, it'll boot into the tools. All right, once this uh, little window here is opened up, this is the Asset Browser. Pretty much it just acts as a hub world for pretty much all the tools. Um, but to actually get to the tools, what you're going to want to go up is to the top bar, click Tools, Hover Tools, and all of the main tools within Source 2, the engine that Counter-Strike 2 is running on, is right here. So you've got Hammer, which you would already be familiar with if you're familiar with anything to do with Source 1 modding. Material Editor, which is for actually setting up textures. Model Doc, which is for setting up models. Image Subrect Editor, which is for setting up specific special materials known as hotspot materials. Post-processing editor, which is for um, setting up settings for your post-processing volume in your map. That's like color. Uh, I think you can use color LUTs in this in Source 2. Um, it, it's a whole lot of stuff. I haven't got too much into it yet, but I probably will do a video on it at one point. Source Filmmaker, which is a whole other beast entirely. Pretty much a whole tool set on its own. And the Workshop Manager, which just shows you all the add-ons you've uploaded to the workshop, their state, and everything. Uh, like whether they're published or not. And then the console, which is just for like debugging, like seeing where performance is going, um, commands, that kind of stuff. While that mostly concludes the installing and setup tutorial, there are two other things I want to go over. The first of which is at the top bar where the tools are, if you go to the far right, there's a help option. And if you click that and click the first one in the drop down, it'll load to the developer community for Valve's tools. And you'll notice that there's already a Counter-Strike 2 Workshop Tools tab here. If you click on it, it'll load into a encyclopedia of topics uh, revolving around the tools. Um, while some aren't 
set up at all, and most of these are heavily under construction, there is some valuable information that might be of help if you get stuck on something. So a good uh, piece of documentation to keep an eye on as it evolves over time. The second thing is, is while I have a roadmap of videos I have planned already, if anyone has video suggestions or things that they'd like to know how to do, please leave a comment and let me know. I would gladly do a video if someone has a topic they'd like to see covered. If I don't know how to cover it, I'll look into it and see if I can figure it out to make a video on it. But that, other than that, that concludes the first video. Um, I hope this was helpful to someone and was relatively to the point. Uh, so other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.